I'm so tired of my messy studio and that's why I made the most satisfying organization system ever. Boom! If you like that feeling of sorting out messy clutter and organizing it in a super satisfying way, well, you're in for a treat. I have a whole bunch of satisfying transformations to show you. The studio got so bad that I almost didn't want to work in it anymore, but I turned the chaos into a welcoming workshop where I can build my dreams. And I got rid of all these random boxes in the process. Bye bye. <laughs> I've been using this messy masking tape for drawer labels, we can do something much better. I'm measuring the drawer fronts and then design a center jig in on shape that I can print on the brand new Bamboo Lab H2S. I could fit both of these rather big parts on the same print and the large printing surface of the H2S is really helpful here, 34 by 32 centimeters. The center jig goes onto the drawer and shows us the exact place to put the label. Then I print some label holders and with double sided tape I can stick them onto the drawer fronts and thanks to the center jig the holders all end up in the perfect position. Using something physical like this to get the correct position is much more accurate and faster than measuring. The H2S can also do laser cutting so I lifted the printer up to connect the ventilation system and here I'm test cutting this nice plywood label and after some fine tuning of the design I went for this look and it looks pretty good on the drawer but I really don't like that you can see the ugly white tape from above here so I bought a thinner transparent tape and here's the old look and here is the new look much better. So now that I'm done with the testing of the design, I can make all the other labels and put them all onto the drawers. What do you think? I hate them. <laughs> it looks like this childish drawer label that says like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday that I've seen online. So instead of this, I went for this. Tried a thicker font and settled on this one. Let's do it this way. Okay, so we had these ugly masking tape labels and now we have these beautiful plywood labels instead. This really says engineering and makes me want to work in my studio. I'm very happy with this. So now whenever I need a screw of a certain size, I can just open a drawer and... Oh no, it's just a random mess and this is kind of typical for how my studio used to be. Here's another of my random screw boxes in another studio. Only an animal would live like this. Let's fix this once and for all. I don't know why, but boxes with random screws seem to naturally just pop up around me. I'm starting to suspect that it has something to do with me not putting screws back where they belong, but to be able to put the screws back where they do belong, we do need to create a cozy home for each size of the screws. And I found the perfect system to do that. It's called Gridfinity. Gridfinity is an open source organization system created by Zach Friedman in 2022. I printed a huge amount of Gridfinity boxes on the H2S. I'm using the automatic material system to change filament color at the very top of the box for a very nice accent color. The Gridfinity bins have these squares below them and the squares fit perfectly into this 42 millimeter grid and the grid happens to fit perfectly into my IKEA Alex drawers. Without the grid stuff is sliding around uncontrollably but with Gridfinity everything stays in perfect place and it's really satisfying that the boxes fills up the drawer perfectly. On the original screw boxes it was easy to read the size of the screw so I'm adding these removable snap fit labels to the Gridfinity boxes to make it easy to pick the correct size. All right. Well, this used to be my life. I had to rummage around for screws, cutting myself in the process, killing any inspiration to make things. Well, not anymore. I can just open the drawer and take the screw I need. Now when I'm done with the project, I know exactly where to put the screw back. No more random screw boxes for me, pinky promise. But this drawer, it's just the beginning, we have more cool drawers to show you. The washers were a total mess, but with help from Linda and Christoph, we sorted them out. And the springs were also all over the place, but now I have my extension springs and my compression springs in 
perfect order. Same with all the nuts and all the O-rings. But for my favorite small parts, the marbles, I went an extra mile and designed this over-the-top marble organizer. And the resulting drawers are beyond satisfying. This is easily my personal favorite drawers. My expensive camera lenses used to lie around everywhere, but after taking all the measurements and making these grid-finity bins for the lenses, they now have their perfect home. This was also really satisfying. Check this out. This is my vlogging rig, and Ludwig made this custom case for it that we 3D printed. Ludwig also made this. You can stack them on top of each other, and now I can stay organized on the go. We needed to print a lot of these grids, and to save time, we stack them in groups of four. In between, we add this support filament. You can actually just pull these apart. Just like that. Now we can program so the printer keeps on printing throughout the whole night. Four grids in one print. But the drawers was just the beginning. The wall behind me has a secret. Wait, I should do that better. My tools are lying around in piles like this and it's not fun trying to work like this. I'm tired of it and I want to fix it. And I have a cool idea on how to fix this. But this is more important than just cleaning up some tools. It goes deeper than that for me. I got to learn to work neatly to give my dream about the Marble Machine World Tour a fighting chance. And that is why it feels so important to organize these tools. I got great help from Håkan to cut these 45 degree slats, also known as French cleats. I used two equal wooden spacer, referencing the table's edge to install the slats straight. Then I 3D printed this jig that spaces the slats perfectly. I could mount all slats solo in 20 minutes. Physical spacers beat measuring for efficient precision. All right, straight. I wanted tools to have a floating in space kind of look. So I'm painting the cleats matte black and using matte black charcoal filament from Bamboo Lab for a seamless look of the tool holders. This color match is perfect. The first tool holder I made was for my Vera branches. It prints in one simple part upside down and hangs onto the cleats perfectly. It was so therapeutic rescuing these beautiful tools from the hell pile on the table and then neatly hanging them in order. And next I made this holder for the Vera hex keys. And I realized that it would take me absolutely forever to design all holders. So I photographed my tools, uploaded the images to the Marble Machine Engineering Discord server and asked the Vintagatan internet team for help. And I got fantastic help from engineers all over the world. These generous designers sent me designs that I could print on the H2S. And I can't thank all the designers who contributed their own time to this project enough. Thank you all. And while I add more tools, I want to say a huge welcome to the 94 new Vintagatan backers. And I also want to thank all the 1082 backers for supporting what I'm trying to do here. Your support means everything. Thank you so much. And the tool wall starts to look like a tool wall. When I was cleaning out my moving boxes, I stumbled upon these Vintagatan plywood letters and that gave me an idea. I put the letters upside down on a straight line, laid this board on top of them and added cleats to all the letters and now the logo can be hung in the middle of my tool wall. With these spotlights, I could light up only the logo and I think this look is really nice as a main YouTube background. The logo is up, Marble Machine is game on. Oh my god, this means so much to me. I have a studio again. Can't wait to show you the final result. I just want to like uh, tell you why this means so much to me. I had a studio on an island. I had a studio in a cave. I had a studio in an industrial area and a studio in southern France. And they all had one thing in common. It was always a huge mess. It was always a huge mess. It was always a huge mess. <laughs> But even worse than a messy studio is no studio at all. And after the Marble Machine X flopped, I got so bummed out that I didn't think I deserved having a studio. So the last years, I've been angle grinding in showers and making snare drum tests in apartments, resulting in the neighbor knocking my door, asking me kindly to shut up. Not having a studio has made the Marble Machine project painfully slow, but that's about to change now. I moved to Stockholm, started a family, and found this studio to build the Marble Machine in. It's time I stop beating myself up about that Marble Machine X failure. I'm gonna do this. I'm going to build the Marble Machine and now I have a place to do it.
All right, we did it. And this was not the only space we fixed. I also fixed the music studio. So here's how it looked before and here's how it looks now. I'm so happy about this transformation and I hope this video inspires you to transform your workspace. And with 3D printing, you can make like your very own custom unique storage solutions like this. It's really nice. And I want to thank Bamboo Lab for sponsoring the Marble Machine project. I printed 351 hours on the brand new H2S and this machine is true plug and play. I can focus on designing cool stuff instead of problem solving and it's actually the same with the laser cutting part. It just works right out of the box. Bamboo Lab calls the H2S a personal manufacturing hub and my main feeling about this machine is that it's a great tool that keeps me focused on being creative. The H2S has this servo extruder that can push filament through the nozzle faster, so it prints up to 30% faster, which was really helpful on a monster printing project like this. I'll put my affiliate links in the description for all the Bamboo Lab products used in this video, and using those links helps the Marble Machine project, thank you. All right, but let's be real here for a moment. Just like a gym card doesn't make you go to the gym automatically, I don't think a gridfinity system actually makes you put things back. So I'm gonna make a real effort to change how I do things. So for example, when I sorted the screws, all these random items came out. You know, wooden plugs, some keys. Old me would just put all these things in any non-specific drawer and be done with it. But I'm gonna change my ways and I'm going to put all these items in a dedicated space just for them. 